Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of News in 2 Minutes, bringing you the news that you need to know every day. Let's begin. Security forces in the Congo have reportedly beaten back an armed militia's attempt at a violent coup. Agencies are reporting that both militants and untrained citizens took up arms in the form of small caliber munitions, firebombs, and stones where they proceeded to attack a military base, television station, and a number of other government-run buildings in the area. Residents fear that the attempt will lead to a growing civil divide, with many beginning to prepare evacuation kits to leave the country if fighting intensifies near their homeland. Following our report on analysts questioning when armed drones will become commonplace in the West, the Federal Aviation Administration has authorized a number of U.S. states to begin testing and implementing a number of ways to increase unmanned drone activity over U.S. airspace. Researchers are warning that this is a startling first step in the citizen awareness, perspective, and acceptance of future armed drone use over North America, and that it will only be a short period of time until the weapons-capable aircraft are used in quoted national security and threat mitigation operations over U.S. soil. Following years of civil unrest and growing calls for a revolution in the Kingdom of Bahrain, and amid widening military crackdowns on known dissenters seeking an overthrowing of the government, security forces say that they have thwarted a quoted terror attack. The country, which is home to the United States Fifth Fleet and consists of an aircraft carrier battle group as well as other specialized attack ships, has fought back a growing rebellion for nearly three years as citizens become increasingly distrustful of their commanding government. Officials in the country say that security forces intercepted an attempt to smuggle heavy weapons as well as explosives and detonators made by Syria and Iran and that authorities are awaiting a possible resurgence of anti-government activity following the attempt. And to wrap things up, discontent continues in the Middle East as authorities open fire on anti-government protesters in Iraq following reports of gunshots being fired at officials. Thousands are evacuating in Central America after a prominent volcano erupted in East El Salvador, dropping heavy ash over nearby towns where it is reported to have destroyed local crops. Officials in Finland are warning that changing temperatures may ignite a regional flu epidemic. And the Hong Kong Center for Health Protection has reported a rare human case of H9N2, a growing indicator that scientists say may signal a propensity for viruses to mutate during changing climate conditions and signals the need for governments to be ready for the next pandemic. And that's it for this episode of News in Two Minutes. Check back tomorrow for more news that the aware need the most. This week's News in Two Minutes is brought to you by Silver-Investor.com, home of the Morgan Report, a global resource for serious metals investors. Visit Silver-Investor.com and sign up for the highly acclaimed newsletter today.